So last week I was up in Paso Robles for a couple days. And of course we checked out a couple wineries that I've been meaning to check out. But the main reason that we were up there was to help my friend Bill. So Bill's mom is older with some health problems and she recently had this really big heart surgery and she lives alone in this really big house and she's lived there for years. But after the surgery, Bill had to move her to this convalescent care facility. He's been dealing with trying to get her house and all of her things sold because she's sort of at this point where she won't be going back home, right? She'll need constant care from this point on. Anyway, he's been super stressed out about it for a while. And so we basically went up there to sort of be his emotional support friends for a couple days. Anyway, the point that I'm trying to get at with all of this is it's very eye-opening to see all of that. I mean, at some point, if we all make it that far, we'll need the same type of 24 seven care. And for me, because I don't have any kids, like who's gonna take care of me? And will I have enough money to be able to afford a decent facility? And look, I'm not trying to be all doom and gloom, but the thing is getting older is sort of weird, right? Because you realize you're gonna die someday and that someday starts to become more of a closer reality and the clock is ticking. So just the other day, I came across a video from Aaron Marino on his new channel and he talked about the midlife crisis and it was a pretty good video and I wanted to share some of my own thoughts from my experiences and also highlight some of the things that he said. And I'll link his video down below, but in his video, he talked about reinventing yourself and sort of reevaluating where you're at every couple of years. And I've talked about this quite a bit recently on my channel because I also think it's a good idea to reevaluate your, your mental, your physical, and your emotional well being, and then reinvent yourself if it's needed. Basically, you're evaluating your happiness. What I would suggest is to evaluate early. And don't wait until you're suffocating because that's when really bad decisions are made, like having an affair and walking away from your family. It's better to evaluate early and often every couple of years or so, so that you can make minor adjustments to the course that you're on. Because the longer you wait, the more suffocated you'll become. And then one day you will just completely explode. You'll make decisions in the moment that will affect the rest of your life and the lives of other people. Trust me because I know from experience up until about age 46, I was a pretty happy guy, but I just knew something was a little bit off. I had a job, I had a wife, I had a house, I had a big family and a big circle of friends. But of course all that changed and I ended up getting a divorce and moving to California. Now I won't get into all the details, but a lot of people might call that a midlife crisis. Up until that point though, I thought everything was kind of fine, but I just, I guess I didn't know what I didn't know. And sure, there were some things in my marriage that probably needed some work and there were parts of myself that needed some work also. But for the most part, things were okay, even though I felt something was off. So during that time, I went into couples therapy because of course that's the right thing to do. But back then we didn't have services like BetterHelp. Now BetterHelp is sponsoring today's video and if you're not familiar, this is an online therapy service that connects you to a licensed therapist who can help. They have an amazing platform because it's really easy and you can do it all from your phone or your computer. Now there's going to be a link down in the description. So just click that link and answer a few easy questions. So BetterHelp can match you with a professional therapist with years of experience, helping people who are struggling just like you. And like I mentioned, you can do it all from your phone or your computer. You can talk to your therapist, however you feel comfortable. You can message, you can talk on the phone, or you can set up a video call and you can do it all from the comfort of your own home. And once you sign up, you'll be matched with a therapist, usually within about 48 hours so that you can get started very quickly. Gentlemen, if you're struggling, please let BetterHelp connect you to a therapist who can help you. And if you sign up using betterhelp.com fashion or choose 40 over fashion during sign up, you'll enjoy a special discount off your very first month. Thank you BetterHelp for supporting my channel and for sponsoring today's video. Okay, so back to Aaron's video, he, also brought up a really interesting point about searching. When guys tend to do crazy things later in life that seem unexpected, they're generally searching for something. He mentioned passion and excitement, which is absolutely real. A lot of us feel stuck. And then once you finally like wake up and realize that you're stuck and you don't like that, you want to get out as fast as possible and be free. Now, something else that he mentioned was pretty important. He said that, if you are true to yourself and you're living the life that you truly want to be living on your terms, a midlife crisis probably won't happen. 
And I think that's really important to hear because honestly, think about it. How many of you guys watching this video are truly living the life you want to be living? I'm sure there's a lot of you that are, but I think that there's probably a majority that aren't. So sit down and try to dissect where some gaps are in your life that you would like to fill and then also evaluate where your happiness comes from. So are you happy? What makes you happy? What drives you and what do you find passion in? If you can look in the mirror right now and be happy with the guy staring back at you and be happy with the life that you're living, then in my opinion, you, my friend, are winning. But if you're not happy with the guy in the mirror, something needs to change because if it doesn't, eventually you're gonna explode. And look, for the record, it's okay to be somebody else now or maybe an improved version of who you've been and who people have come to expect. If you've been a Toyota Corolla guy your whole life and then you go out and buy a McLaren, people are gonna think you've lost your mind because the only version of you they know is who you've been up until this point. It's okay though. It's okay to change and find fulfillment in other things. So for me, I've reinvented myself several times in the last probably 15 or 20 years or so. I went from being a pretty competitive race car driver to owning a commercial photo studio in Seattle to losing almost 40 pounds and getting into style and fitness, then moving to Southern California and then going completely broke and being almost homeless, <laughs> and then starting this YouTube channel and finding some success. And I'm currently reinventing myself once again with my health and fitness, and I'm working on a side project that I hope to share with you guys very soon. And I can tell you that every time you make a change like that and basically reinvent the way that you operate, people look at you funny. People question, like what you're doing and why you're doing it. But the thing that you need to remember is you're not doing it for them, you're doing it for you. Fuck what they think. It's your life, live it your way. So when I was going through my divorce, I got a lot of heat from a lot of my family. People said that I was gonna ruin my life and I was making a huge mistake. Now, could I have done things differently or better? Sure, absolutely. I just did what I felt like I needed to do at that point in time. Now I do realize that I hurt some people and I will carry that guilt with me for the rest of my life. But I can't go back and change anything. We can only do what we think is right at that time. I don't want you or anyone else to finally realize at 50 or 60 years old that you've wasted your life doing something for somebody else or living a life that's not true to who you are. But you do it because that's what people expect of you. The last thing I want for you is to have regrets of not doing that thing that you thought about doing when you were 32, but now you're 62. There's been tons of interviews with elderly people and the one thing that a lot of them talk about is having regrets. They regret not doing the thing that they always wanted to do. They regret not kissing that girl in high school. They regret not looking after their health when they had the chance. They regret stacking up all that money and sacrificing travel and life experiences so someday they could retire. But then at 52, they got hit with stage four cancer with only six months to live. Now look, I'm not telling you to be irresponsible with your money, but what good is a big stack of money if you can't take it with you? Live your damn life, man. Spend some money on travel and some experiences that create life memories and don't feel guilty about it. You have got one life to live and it's a hell of a lot shorter than you think it is. I welcome all of your comments on this topic and I also invite you to subscribe to my channel and if you enjoyed this little talk, please tap that like button so the algorithm can show this video to more guys that might need to see this. As always, my friends, thank you so much for watching. Live well and I will see you in the next one.